when you start graining uh, a king size stone, then you have another kind of problems than when you have to grain normal stones. The size is causing that. Uh, one of the things is that you are always in contact with the stone. You are kind of hanging into the stone. So if you work with one apron, you get the problem that several sizes of uh, ab abrasives are coming uh, mixed, are becoming mixed, and that's not good. They should stay out of its, each other. So what I do, I take three aprons. I do have a number 100. I do have the 180, and I do have a 220. And then you avoid that problem. That's one of the things which you should think of. The second is that we have to work with a lot more abrasives than the, with a normal stone. So uh, for not wasting too much of it, you have to work very precise. Now, I start always uh, by cleaning the stone with water, but then you have too much water on your stone. So you take a wiper, and with the wiper, a clean wiper, and with the wiper you take away the superfluous water. And when that's done, it's okay. Now your stone is damp and you start to divide a number on it. I'm working now with 180. The 100 has been done. I have my apron in 180, so divide it well in one time, like I do here. And then we're going to continue with a sponge with water. So this is enough. And I take a sponge with water and I just sprinkle a certain amount of water on this abrasive, like that. And now you will see it already, I have to get my hand stone, so already I have to go like this. I'm getting it. And then the first thing, before you start graining, that is, you start to turn around the stone over the surface of the other one just to mix the water with the abrasive. Like that. Once you have done that over the whole stone, then at that moment you start graining because now you have a, the, the right material for uh, graining, okay? And a graining is like that, you have to continue in one movement on the stone. I'll show you that. You go slightly over the edge. And you continue this, let's say 10 minutes, and then you uh, let it go up with water. And I'll show you the, the way in which you should do this. This is the way that you do it. Okay, so once you have done that 10 minutes, uh, you take the, the, the grain off, and then you take uh, a new, fresh, 180 and then for a second time you grain the stone again and then it's okay for going further to the number 220. And always when you uh, change from number, really be aware of the fact that no old number is on the stone, on your sleeves or on the wiper or in your sponge. You, should, you really should work very clean and if you do so, at the end, you have a very nice surface on the stone on which you start drawing. Next week, we'll go for the workstations. I hope 
to see you then.